my understanding is that the, we are certainly a few weeks behind the situation in Italy. Um, I believe there are some projections about difficult situations occurring around, um, I believe the 13th of April um, has been penciled in as a point where we will project it to have increasing numbers of, of patients. ICU departments are going to come under significant strain as it would appear that large numbers of patients, especially in the over 70 age group, who contract the virus will require um, ICU level care. Um, and I believe the UK, compared with some other countries, is perhaps a bit short on ventilators. However, I do believe from speaking with colleagues who, who work in those areas that they are planning very quickly to, to attempt to cope with the surge in demand, which I believe um, may be three, four weeks away, um, at which point things will be difficult. From speaking with colleagues and reading, um, it appears that patients who do end up in ICU departments um, and do require ventilation are requiring ventilation for several weeks um, and uh, they are difficult to treat so that this will put a huge pressure um, on hospitals which um, will present a very challenging situation um, and it will be very difficult. It would be very concerning if, if, if they could not increase the ventilator capacity. Um, I feel that I'm optimistic that they, they will be able to do so. Um, certainly we've in the fortunate position of seeing what is happening in other countries and I, statistically we are two weeks behind Italy. So there is time to prepare. From, from reading it, it would seem that the UK is somewhat low on these ICU beds, say, compared to Germany. Um, but I, I do think they will be able to improve quickly. As I said, we have a few weeks um, to prepare before it really becomes a, bit, a big problem. If doctors and nurses have coughs and temperatures and, and follow government advice to self-isolate, we really need to quickly be able to make sure they're negative um, from a disease perspective and, and hopefully get them back to work. I believe that should be set up in the near future. That that will be very important. But I think at the minute, certainly general practice, it feels somewhat like the calm before the storm. And um, if, if people do listen to what the government is saying, social distancing, it should help the NHS to cope essentially. That is, and it will save lives. There is no doubt um, about that.